AM 1160 and WCCSradio.com. Good morning. We're glad that you're with us here today. We're glad as well uh, that uh, Sam Kenley is with us once more, downtown Indiana. And our conversation with Sam brought to you by Marcus and Mack, voted best personal injury law firm, best of Indiana County contest. Marcus and Mack, a law firm representing injured people. Sam, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Wonderful. Good to have you with us here today. Boy, this summer is going by so quickly. It is August 2nd. I can't believe it. It's crazy. Yeah, it's it, flying by. But you know what? Um, it doesn't matter if it's um, summer, if it's fall. There's always something going on with downtown Indiana. Uh, you guys just get your hand in everything uh, and, and do good work with it, too. We try. <laughs> to get people to come to downtown Indiana. That's why you're here. That's Yeah, that's my job. That's what the Downtown Indiana Incorporated's job is, bring people downtown and create the events and more foot traffic and you know, just keep elevating the uh, the community. Yeah, that being the case, uh, we always talk about the big events that are coming or the big events that have just occurred, and we will do that this yeah. morning. Uh, but uh, just overall, uh, downtown Indiana, when we think about um, the mission uh, and, and the way you go about fulfilling it, uh, I, I'm sure that the, the businesses themselves have a lot of input as to uh, how you're going to to market downtown Indiana. It, I, I think my point is it's working. Oh, absolutely. People are coming. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, we have promotion meetings, and we encourage all the business owners to get together and, and come to the meetings once a month. And they all know me, you know, obviously, so they reach out, and they always have great ideas, innovative ideas, and uh, just wanting to recreate and work together. And um, it's really coming on strong. Everybody is just uh, communicating with each other. Um, you might see a sidewalk sale coming up very soon. It's not official yet, mm -hmm. but it's businesses starting to be like, hey, let's do this. Let's work together. Let's try this. And yeah. it is really starting to elevate everybody together. There's a creativity mm -hmm. about it. Uh, Absolutely. That, you know, as wonderful as a promotion might be or an event might be, uh, if you don't keep it fresh, uh, and, and even if you don't uh, have something that's been popular in the past but might be waning a little bit and you just put it on the shelf for a while and replace it and then bring it back, in five or ten years, mm -hmm. um, you know, if you don't have that element, uh, then it's it's not going to really continue to bring people to downtown. Right. And, you know, every event we try to look at, how can we elevate this event or this activity to be creative, to generate more foot traffic for downtown and to just be all overall more enjoyable as well, yeah. make it more of an experience as well. So. Yeah. So having said all that, what's going on, Sam? Well, uh, I don't know about you, but I'm still in a food hangover from the tasting <laughs> tour. Jesus, what a great event. Um, couldn't ask for better weather, greater participants. Uh, we had close to 300 people that was uh, participating in the event. I, I was just blown away by all the innovative and different and creative, and uh, everybody's just having a great time. You couldn't ask for uh, just a more enjoyable event. So yeah. I'm very happy about that. Um, we, uh, some of the uh, winners on that. So we had the uh, People's Choice Awards. We had the favorite drink went to Wolfendale's. We had the favorite sweet treat, and that went to the Baker's Arm. Uh -huh. And then the favorite all-around cuisine went to Benjamin's. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So it was a it was a nice, uh, well-deserved winners. And then uh, we had the celebrity judges going around, and they mm -hmm. had uh, worked off the National Eat. Um, program the four food competitions and that uh -huh. award was the best overall execution appearance and taste award and i went to hb call peppers nice uh something that i think surprised everybody uh if you go to call peppers there's not normally ribs on the menu and you walked in and they were serving you ribs and coleslaw and uh, hey, what it was really good yeah it was it was a great surprise it was a great product and uh man it was just so much good food everywhere it but was, that's not on the cold peppers regular menu i hear it might be added to it the menu like now yeah. <laughs> i do believe there's conversation of that so yeah. hopefully it's something we'll see soon on their menu yeah even if, if it's not all the time yeah, you know, bring that out every yeah, once in a while. It could be like a weekly or monthly special or something. Yeah, but, so. you know, the event itself, it highlights the fact that there are so many wonderful places to eat and, and maybe places that people didn't even know were there. Oh, absolutely. There were several people like, oh, I didn't know that they sold this or I forgot that this place was here. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, that's what it's about. It's about marketing your product and your establishment. And mm -hmm. I thought this was one of the best years for that. I thought yeah. a lot of people steps outside the box and... I mean, the girls that were at the dry cleaners, too. I can't take away anything from uh, Tammy Graham Curry. We had Portia in there, and we had um, uh, Stacy from Honey Badger's Bakery. 
those girls just blew it out of the park for entertainment. You know, had they were dressed time. up in the seventies attire and everything. So had a good time. And that was what it's about: having fun and being yeah. innovative and being creative. So yeah. Showing the love. So. Good stuff. So that happened almost a month ago. I, I know. You <laughs> blink it, it's over. <laughs> so what's next? So next will be coming the Sunday, August 11th, will be the downtown Indiana Italian Fest. And that will take place between 9th Street and uh, 12th Street. Uh, right now we have 30 vendors for the event. Mm -hmm. We have three bands. The first band to be kicking off will be the Bel Airs. Then we have the Edge Classic Rock. And then we'll end the evening with post-traumatic. Uh, something that we've added this year to bring back, it's been a couple years, we brought the car show back this year. And uh, we'll actually have uh, live broadcasting there by Renda. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be DJing there for the car show. And um, we have many food vendors. We have many uh, artisan vendors. Um, obviously, Bruno's, Josephine's, and Naps will be involved. Uh, just going to be a great day. And uh, I was talking to Nick yesterday, and, you know, it never rains on Nick's parade. And... Uh, <laughs> 14-day-out 14, 14 forecast was saying 75 degrees and sunny for the yeah. Italian Fest. So Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a great event. We are so excited about this. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, it always brings like 4,000 people to downtown Indiana. It's a great day. Uh, the event will run from uh, 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. So mm -hmm. it'll be a good day. So. Um, and, and it used to be located down the street to, toward 10th and, and upward. It, what's, the, what's the footprint this year? So it'll start at 9th Street. The car show uh, will start at 9th and go down a little bit past 10th Street. Mm -hmm. And then from there out to the railroad tracks, almost to 11th Street. The stage will be set up just past Bruno's for the bands right near Autosports. And, um, and we'll have uh, seating there. We've added a tent, which will actually be uh, in the back parking lot um, at the corner there um, in Autosports parking lot for anybody that might just want to get out of the shade a little bit or get in the shade a little bit out of the sun. So we'll be seating there. We'll have the kids corner uh, right near um, Mark Arbuckles. We'll have the dunk tank set up there. The downtown Indiana table will be set there. And then all the food and artists and vendors will be um, right between uh, the corner there where the uh, kids corner will be up to um, the car show start. So. Kind of cool to put things on, on that end of town yeah. for a change. Yeah, you know? it's something different. It's spread yeah. the love around, you know? Yeah, spread the love sure. around. So. Yeah, all right. So that's that's a yeah. great that's a great event that's coming up next weekend. Yeah, I know. I Again, uh, it's like a little over a week away, so there's yeah. still a lot of uh, last-minute preparations, but we're there. We're ready. Yeah. So. What else you got for us? All right, then moving into uh, Thursday, uh, August 15th, will be our next third Thursday event. Uh, the band will be Backstage Buffet. Uh, we will have Danny's Tacos, Kona Ice, and Noble Stein Brewing will be there, uh, along with uh, Becky Leisure with the Hello Concierge Services doing um, mock cocktails. And then Skin Art Works will be doing kid activities with face painting, along with Upstreet Ace Hardware. And we'll have an opening act with Brittany Sarzega. She's been opening for all of her third Thursday. She does uh, mm -hmm. two of her own songs that she writes and then usually a cover song. And then uh, Four-Footed Friends will be present. Uh, IRMC Residency Program will be present. Um, and then there is some talk, um, not plans have been solidified, but, uh, there might be some new added things happening. So I don't want to say too much. I'll oh, do cool. more after this weekend. So, right. uh, some other organizations are maybe get involved for that day. Ooh, so let me know. Yeah. Awesome. So, and then after that, uh, not a downtown Indiana event, but we're in full support and help any way we can is going to be the NAF event on September 6th and 7th. And, uh, I don't know uh, if anybody heard, but they got a new, um, director for that. It's Heather Link. Um, she was the president of Midday Rotary for a while, so she's come on yeah. board to take that over. Um, I've seen uh, stuff on Facebook. They have a really strong band lined up for both Friday and Saturday. So if yeah. you haven't checked out their page or anything, make sure and do that. Yeah. It's going to be well, a killer event. Folk so, Festival, that's yeah. coming up. Yep. Right. And if I could back it up a little uh -huh. bit, I, I didn't want to forget to mention that the uh, – uh, United Way event will be on Friday, August 16th, sure. and that will be on 8th Street uh, between Water Street and Philadelphia Street and also in the uh, parking lot, the S&T parking lot back there. It'll be a carnival event. They're going to have like 20-some carnival games for both kids and adults. There's going to be stilt walkers, flamethrowers. Yeah. It's going to be an awesome time. So food vendors. So Yeah, Clint um, Smith was here yesterday. He said uh, we, we really want to emphasize the fact moms and dads bring the kids down. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a very kid-friendly event. Uh, looking forward to all the activities they're going to have. Yeah. It's be amazing. So. so all of that is happening in downtown Indiana. I, all of that in pretty much in one week. We have three events going on. So Meanwhile, ready, yeah. you are thinking about, uh, you know, long-term. Here we are in the middle of summer. It's been so hot and wonderful. Yeah. 
in my book. Uh, and, but uh, but uh, the It's a Wonderful Life uh, Christmas celebration is, is not so far away, so the planning goes on for that. It's like three months or three and a half months away to light up night. It's a little yeah. crazy. It's, it's, right a, around it's a snap so. of the fingers away yeah. is what it is. But we, uh, we've been, again, that's an all-year process. Uh, we've been planning. We're preparing. Everything is lining up perfectly for it. Uh, mm-hmm. We do have some new things we'll be adding this year. We just have to work out some details. We're getting IUP involved. There's some um, businesses even out of Altoona with dance teams uh, um, that want to come in and perform on the weekends and stuff. So there'll be a lot of information that should be coming out here probably the first part of September with all the additions. And yeah. uh, we're bringing back the cookie tour again this year, which was very successful last year. Um, we'll have uh, some added adult and kid events going on. There'll be um, some trivia stuff going on. So it'll be good times. Yeah. I'll also, and, and we don't want to, just zip by this uh, but um, within a month we're back on campus at IUP oh, and know, uh, is, yeah and there are always events in downtown uh, that uh, that celebrate that too yeah so, absolutely uh, we uh, we're we'll trying to work together with uh, the different organizations there to bring back different events there should be uh, hopefully uh, I believe we're going to be calling it a Talon walk for the kids to be coming downtown so that'll be something will be announced very soon and then there'll be a static event happening soon in the fall so yeah yeah, there's a lot of Good stuff going stuff on. Good happening in downtown Indiana. He's Sam Kenley. Thank you, Sam. Oh, thank you. Always a pleasure. It is the voice of Indiana County. It's WCCS 101.1 FM, AM 1160, and WCCSradio.com. We're two before nine.